What's happened? Market gone into a great depression? No. If your portfolio pulled back 10%, it's gonna take you 11% to get whole. The fact that the market is once again at an all-time high, is it's time in the market, not timing in the market. Hi, this is Nathan. Welcome back to Independence Money. Today's topic, market turndowns, how to properly freak out. I'm going to give you some steps on how to successfully do that. So let's get into this. Uh, I'm always fascinated with if it bleeds, it reads, all these doomsdayers. So let me give you some direct quotes here. And I'll have this article from Yahoo Finance in the description as well. And it's titled, The Stock Market is Edging Towards Extremes of Great Depression in Dotcom Eras. Okay. Interesting. So it goes on to say, after a rally that defined high interest rates and recession calls and stock valuations are edging towards some of the, the greatest market meltdowns in history. Ooh, sizzly there. Uh, the metric has plunged this year, indicating stretched stock valuations towards levels seen during the Great Depression in the dot-com bubble. Wow, that's extreme. So the quote goes on, delving deeper into historical data, we find that in the past century, there have only been a handful of instances when U.S. equities have been more expensive relative to bonds. And you could just buy treasury bills at 5.5 completely risk-free. Um, and then they go on to say the S&P is up 7.4% in November and year to date of 17. Um, and so there's their, their belief. Uh, so the first thing I want to point out is tip number one, be careful who you listen to. These quotes were from Aaron Brown, Geraldine uh, Sundstrom and, and Emmanuel Sharef. Where do they work? PIMCO. Oh, what's PIMCO? They're a bond mutual fund manager. So of course they're going to be saying negative things about the stock market because they want you to put the money in the bots. So be careful who you listen to. Um, what's funny though, is normally I do trending articles. This thing was printed out in November. Since then, what's happened? Has the market gone into a great depression? No, we have strong economic data. We have uh, record high jobs set in December and January. CPI, CPI came in hotter than normal, which indicates a growing economy. And GDP was strong with consumer spendings being strong. And the market came out raging in January. So tip number one, be careful who you listen to. Tip number two, look at the charts. I, I love charts. I'm going to offer you an ability to, to get my chart books where I get my research from. If you want to just email me, Nathan at independence-money.com. Give me your first name and just put in the subject line chart books, and I'll be glad to send those to you upon request. So this chart right here obviously shows a very long duration since the Great Depression. The market has trended up. I've put a circle around what I call the lost decade, where we had the tech crisis followed by the housing crisis. That was not a fun decade. The markets were relatively not in good shape after 10 years there, but there was some anomalies there. And obviously, you know, statistics of two things happening within a decade. I don't see that in the cards right now. So tip number three, business cycle recessions have become less frequent and more shallow as our country is aged. And oftentimes this cycle goes from above uh, trend to below trend growth, but still stays in the growth area. 20% pullbacks as defined by a bear market are not that frequent. 10 to 20% corrections are. We've had five since 20, 2009. So it, it's not that cataclysmic when we have one. So here's the, the tips here on how to properly freak out. Tip number one, sell at the bottom. This is called volatility task. And it comes from the psychological phenomenon that if you're walking down the street or the sidewalk and you found a $20, it would make you happy. But if somebody stole $20 from you, you would be more emotionally charged negatively than positively happy if you were to find $20. So we're more risk adverse creatures. So 
For example, if your portfolio pulled back 10%, it's gonna take you 11% to get whole. If your portfolio pulled back 20%, it's gonna take you 25 to get whole. So if you wanna lock in those gains and eliminate your opportunity uh, to, to come back from corrections, tip number one, sell at the bottom. Tip number two, forget history. Uh, history shows that markets rebound. Even the S&P that went down over 20, over 50% in 2008 or 34% in 2020 is completely negated by the fact that the market is once again at an all-time high because it's time in the market, not timing in the market. Tip number three on how to properly freak out during market declines, think short term. Here's some statistics to back that up. Since March 2009, which was the market bottom, a 40-60 portfolio, 40% equity, 60% bonds, break, broke even or, or recuperated from its losses a whopping year later in February 2010, 11 months. Now, if you had a 60-40 portfolio, it was October of 2011. And if you had an all-stock all portfolio, it took you three painful years, but November of 2012, you're back to being whole. Then furthermore, the all stock portfolio out or beat the 60 40 portfolio in November of 2016, which in market statistics was ancient history. That was a long time ago, right? Tip number four, forget math. So in 2024, coming off the bottom of 2009, 100% stock portfolio was up 347%, 60-40 portfolio 220, 40-60 portfolio 159, and those all bond portfolios by money managers I talked about earlier, 55%. Now keep in mind this is an investment advice, so maybe your risk tolerance warrants an on -bond, all bond portfolio for most of us. 100% stocks is a little bit too aggressive, so you know you definitely need. To benefit from market gains, that's important, but it's also critical to manage risk. Again, if you'd like to see my chart books, uh, email me, or if you'd like to have a, a complimentary consult, Nathan at independence-money.com. Uh, you probably know this already, but I am a licensed investment advisor as well as a certified tax specialist, and I certainly appreciate your comments, your thoughts, your shares, and y'all take care.